Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Leo-only channel, so the link for that is below. I also have a Virgo-only channel and a Cancer-only channel, so the link for that is below. Um, the Leo channel is Leo of Light, okay? Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away uh, tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Winners are announced on the first of the month um, on the community page, okay? So Leo, in this reading, we're going to be doing general readings, oracle readings, love messages, singles, um, money and career, and we're going to be doing Leo versus all 12 signs. Sometimes in the general message, love comes out. There's nothing I can do about that, okay? So let's see what we have here. Take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. General messages here for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Messages for Leo, please. Messages for Leo, please. Okay. Oh, all right. So we could be dealing with um, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. So we've got Earth, the Spider, the Golem, and Medusa. Okay. So Leo, I feel like... I feel like, well, first of all, it says utilize logic, reason, and common sense. Be meticulous and patient. So Leo, I feel like you're trying to make a head over heart decision. I feel like you're trying to be logical. I feel like you're trying to be patient here when it comes down to making decisions. Um, a close friend acts on your behalf and then jealousy leads to downfall. Be careful here, Leo, because I feel like there's someone that may be stepping in here. Be logical when looking at this person because someone here may be jealous of what you have going on okay it, it feels like this could be someone that you know you thought you can trust this is somebody that may be stepping in to defend you or you know what i'm saying i feel like spirit is saying use logic because here this is the vibe that i'm getting leo okay let's say you're upset about something and you go to this person to talk about it okay now let's just say and leo don't jump down my throat okay let's just say you're upset about something but let's uh, just say you're actually wrong let's just say you know what i'm saying you know in this particular case if this person was your friend they would say leo chill for a minute you know maybe you came across the wrong way maybe it was a misunderstanding maybe you know just chill for a minute i'm sure everything will work out that's not what this person says to you what this person does is they come in and jump on your side whether you're right or wrong and it appears that you know like they, they hype you up get your ego going saying yes yeah, screw them screw that person screw your wife screw your husband screw the girl screw whatever screw your boss you know what i'm saying but this person is doing that because they know it's bad advice they know if they say screw your boss and you're like oh screw it i'm leaving this place you make really good money there, you have seniority there, whatever the case may be, this person is acting this way out of jealousy. Okay, so watch who you sp speak to, use common sense here, okay? If you know that something, you know what I'm saying? How do I wanna put this? It, you know, use your common sense because that was one example that I gave you, but it could be anything, okay? Um, you will s receive news from afar and you will be guided through the darkness here, okay? I feel like there's somebody here, maybe this person lives at a distance from you. Uh, maybe this is not someone that you're talking to face to face, but this person will guide you out of the darkness. So there's one person that does have your best interest at heart and one person that doesn't. So if you have a problem in your life, Leo, there is somebody that may be farther from you somebody that you're not talking to face to face but this is somebody that will guide you out of whatever dark place that you're in whereas there's someone here that you consider to be a close friend and look see we've got a far and close so there's someone here that's closer in your vicinity someone that you may have the ability to sit down and talk to face to face this is the person that is jealous and will lead you astray okay they'll give you that bad advice okay any other general messages for leo any other general messages for Leo, please? Any other general messages for Leo, please? What else do we have here for Leo? Okay, we've got marrying for money and low IQ. Leo, someone here may be getting married, you know, so you might be dealing with someone that's a gold digger, someone that can't accomplish things on their own, okay? 
we've got clout hungry and we've got bad parenting this could, could be someone that's not good with children they're very dramatic they just make shit up here okay we've got jackpot and we've got in their head and stressed leo i hate to say it to you but some of you guys may be you know getting married or in a relationship with somebody that you know if you have children they may mistreat your children okay or if you get uh pregnant if you marry this person and have children with this person this is somebody that will neglect the children because all eyes have to be on them they're very dramatic so this is a very selfish energy leo okay um this is somebody that is very stressed out they overthink and all they want is to inherit what you have or you know they this is somebody that you know i feel like with jackpot here winning money got rich inheritance unexpected money and marrying for money this is somebody that's only in it to be taken care of okay with low iq here this is somebody that doesn't have the smarts or the wits about them to achieve things on their own so this is somebody that rides the coattails of someone else okay um spiritual hater hates on your spirituality light magic and power and then we've got head in the clouds this is someone that just walks around hating on everybody that actually has the power and the ability um or is blessed by the divine to uh you know to achieve success this is also someone that may practice dark magic okay we've got wasting time and grudge holder this is someone that stays stuck their things in their life doesn't change they stay limited probably because they're hating on everybody else and also because they're just not putting the energy into themselves with grudge holder here this is somebody that you know leo you're dealing with somebody here that puts that has very negative energy towards other people like this is someone that almost has a hatred towards people that actually uh do well for themselves okay um we've got fake flexing acts rich flosses money acts fancy and shows off that came out in the reverse so this is somebody that doesn't even know how to act the role like if you took this person to a classy restaurant or something this is somebody that doesn't even you know not only are they how do i want to put this not only is this person incapable of doing anything on their own but they don't even know how to act right they don't even know how to pretend they don't even know how to pretend that they got it going Going on do you understand what i'm saying this is just somebody in a very low energy that hates on people um that does things better than them okay they lost their ch Ooh, okay creeping they lost their chance or you did um leo you may be leaving this behind because this person is is stalking you they may have lost their chance with you they may be walking away there's family issues here in this connection family might be getting involved yeah get yeah, family maybe listen family may be saying don't do this don't marry this person don't go near this person um we've got fake smiles here these are people that will smile at your person but they don't like your person okay they don't like your person we've got cyber bully you are being bullied online or they are has suffered from it and then crying over you so this is someone that's going to be really hurt when you turn from them this is somebody that may slander your name publicly this could be somebody that you know what i'm saying cyber bullies you online or they just post a lot of memes to try to hurt your feelings you know that have you ever seen that meme that says when a toxic person can no longer control you they want to uh, control how other people view you so they're going to go online and they're going to try to make it where other people see you in this bad light okay so let's see what we have going on here leo spirit tell me about leo please sun moon rising venus tell me about leo please sun moon rising and venus tell me about leo please sun moon rising and venus tell me about leo please sun moon rising and venus Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got big happy changes. We've got great achievement. We have hard work is paying off. We've got no place like home. And then we've got goddess of the moon. Oh, ooh, okay. 
So Leo, I do see you achieving something really big here. It could be in the workplace. It could be a wedding because this looks like a wedding table. Um, there could be some type of event where you're being awarded for something. Um, I feel like there's a sense here of, you know, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing there with no place like home. You feel comfortable and at peace with what you're doing and what you're working on. Goddess of the moon is interesting though. It's like there's a secret or something here. Give me one more on this goddess of the moon and door to spirit. The divine is trying to tell you something, but you don't want to see it. Door to personal healing and happiness. There's something here that you need to heal within you that you don't want to recognize. Like it's some, it's like a thing here where like, you know, there's pain and you have just shoved it in a closet and the divine is trying to tell you, listen, let it out of the closet so we can help you heal it. But I don't feel like you're really willing to do that. Okay. Um, we need to talk ASAP. What does this talk about? He, she likes it toxic with me. Oh, Leo, I see what's happening here. Leo, this is an energy where the outside world sees you happy, achieving things, working hard. Um, you know, maybe you bought a house here, but secretly, secretly, um, I feel like there's things that you need to heal from. We need to talk ASAP and he, she likes it toxic with me. This could be an energy of, yeah, everything's going great, but my person's toxic. Do you see what I'm saying? It's toxic and I don't show this to everybody. You know, I don't tell everybody about this. Okay. We've got the house and the coffin. What is this coffin about? Mature man and bad health. Okay. Someone here, I hate to say this, Leo, but someone here may potentially be passing away due to bad health. Someone could pass away in the home. Okay. In the home or someone may be inheriting a house due to a father figure or a grandfather passing away. I'm sorry. I have to say it. Okay. And we've got marriage here. Someone may be inheriting a house through marriage. Could be someone's father-in-law possibly. Okay. Um, another thing I'm seeing here, I hate to say this, Leo, but someone could pass away after someone gets married. It could be that there's a marriage here and someone's passing away. Now, another thing I'm picking up on here is there could be a father figure or a parental figure here that's sick to their stomach that somebody is getting married. They don't want this to go through. Okay. Let's see here. Let's move on. All right, we've got the ring and the anchor. Somebody's getting tied down or married. We've got the ship and we've got, yeah, someone here I feel doesn't realize that they're getting themselves into a situation where they're going to be controlled and tied and chained. So the clock tower and the engagement is an institution of marriage. And I feel like somebody is going to realize something way too late. And that's what this is, Leo. I feel like we've got a sense of like a party here, a, a marriage taking place, but somebody's about to about to realize something way too late this may be see home and short term this is a marriage that's not going to last very long if you're moving in with somebody this is not going to last very long if you're you know whatever it is that you're trying to do here i feel like you're trying to accomplish something like you're trying to do the right thing you know get married buy the house do all the stuff and things but i feel like it's not going to last very long because this person is very toxic this person is very toxic All right, let's move on to love. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo in love, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Leo in love, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We've got the five of swords and the hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me about Leo in love, please. Leo in love, please. The high priestess and the four of cups. So Leo, this could be somebody wanting to walk away from a marriage or a wedding um, with the high priestess and the four of cups. Someone here secretly doesn't want to do something. They don't want to do something. The hierophant here. 
uh, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Someone here is wanting to leave a marriage or a wedding. Somebody here made a promise of some sorts and they, they want to kind of sabotage it and walk out on it. Four of Cups with the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody that's saying, sorry, I need to speak my truth. I don't want this. Eight of Cups, I want to walk away. The Sun card and the Fool card, I want to leave. Ten of Wands, I feel like I'm being pressured. So Leo, this could be an energy of... Oh, Leo, this could be a child tells you a secret. Tell me about the Page of Cups and the High Priestess and the Justice card. Okay, so Leo, this could also be, this is on a side note for those of you that have children. You could be married to somebody or about to get married to somebody and a secret comes out from one of your children with the justice card here. Um, yeah, tell me about this justice card here. The Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups in the reverse. There is no I'm sorry with this. You could say you're sorry, but I really don't care. There's a child is going to say something here and it's going to cause a person to withdraw their energy in this commitment. Um, that may not be for everybody that, you know, again, these are general readings. There's thousands of people watching this. Okay. Um, so this could either be promises made. You're married to somebody. Either way, this is somebody truly wanting to leave and they're going to speak their peace. For some of you, the reason why somebody wants to walk away, it could be that a child says a secret here. A child tells a secret and I feel like somebody's going to choose their children over this connection, which we saw in the Oracle too. Okay. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo. We've got the two of wands and the knight of swords. Tell me about Leo, please. Seven of wands, the death card and the moon. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Do you remember what I told you about the Gold Digger type energy? This is somebody that is going to chase this because with the Six of Pentacles, they need money. They need to receive. With the Two of Wands and the Seven of Swords, this is someone that makes decisions that are best for themselves. This is a very sly and sneaky energy. This could also be somebody that is stealing money of some sorts. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. Tell me about the Death card with the Emperor in the reverse. This is somebody that is going to lose their shit. If, this, if somebody comes in between this commitment or if somebody tries to block this commitment, Emperor in the reverse, this is an overly controlling energy. Overly controlling energy. Tell me about this Moon card and the Four of Swords. This person needs to work on their shadow work. What outcome do we see for this connection? King of Swords in the reverse and the Four of Pentacles. This is a very narcissistic and abusive energy. Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords with the Three of Cups. And the, yeah, and the Nine of Swords and the, the Seven of Cups. Leo, there are people here that are trying to tell you about this person. You are so caught up and trapped up with this person, okay? This person could be doing magic on you, but you're so, like, caught up on this person. There's third-party energies that are trying to tell you, please see this person for who you are. You deserve so much better with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Hold back. End this situation. You are worth so much more. More. stand up for yourself okay um so yeah I, I feel like people are really getting serious with telling you like listen you need to wake up and see this person for who they really are before you make any big commitments here okay all right let's see what we have here for leo singles Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Leo singles. Okay. So we have passion in the reverse, gossip, obstacles, and gifts. Tell me about single Leos. Karma and travel.
For my Leo singles, I feel like... I feel like you guys really are not attracted to anything right now. I feel like maybe you're going out, you're dating, you're, you know, letting people buy you gifts, letting people pay for dinner, or you're doing that to people. But I feel like there's some type of delay here, okay? Um, I feel like right now maybe you guys are more focused on traveling and enjoying your life, focusing on new opportunities. What is this gossip about? money and dating queen you know what the problem here is leo for my leo singles if that you have too many people in your ear that are telling you that people are only dating you for what you have because with money and gifts i feel like you're very giving towards you the person that you're with some of you may make a lot of money some of you are very traditional there's a lot of people in your ear that are trying to tell you that they don't really want you whoever's dating you doesn't really want you they only want you for what you can provide and it causes you to kind of like get in your head so be careful with that don't listen to just anybody okay Tell me about Leo, please. New love for Leo. Look, friendship and new love in the reverse, Leo. I feel like you're not looking for new love. You're just looking to be friends and have a good time with fun times here. I feel like you're just, you know, you're just not wanting it. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, that's for the collective I'm reading for. You guys just don't want it. Okay, let's see here. Tell me about Leo, finances and career. Leo, finances and career for Leo, finances and career for Leo. So we've got business contracts, documents, gift of money, manifesting money, reaching goals, and financial assistance. I feel like somebody's applying for a loan. Leo, I feel like you're applying for a loan because with business contract and financial assistance, you're manifesting something, you're wanting something here. The problem is with being stuck, money blocks, I'm not sure that you're going to get it. I'm not sure that you're going to get approved for this loan, Leo. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, we've got crown. You're going to overcome it anyway, though. Okay. You're overcoming obstacles here. Some of you may be your own boss here. I feel like you're going to overcome it. We've got money conflicts, cutting corners, and breakthrough. I feel like this is a little bit of a robbing Peter to pay Paul type energy, okay? So I feel like some of you may be applying for a loan um, to have like a cushion for your business or something like that, or if it's a payday loan, if, you, if you're not self-employed. Um, I do feel like you're going to overcome these obstacles, okay? You will. Um, but just be careful with cutting corners and, and you know, trying to get money the, in a wrong way, um, like lying on an application or something like that. Be careful with doing that, okay? Okay. Yeah. So just, just be careful with your money here, Leo. Okay. Just watch your money. Leo and all 12 signs. What deck do we want to use for Leo today? Leo and all 12 signs. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Leo and all 12, please. Tell me about Leo and all 12 signs in love, Aries to Pisces. Tell me about Leo and all 12 signs in love, please. Aries to Pisces. Leo and all 12 signs in love, please. Aries to Pisces. Tell me about Leo and all 12 signs in love, please. Aries to Pisces. Leo and all 12 signs in love, please. Okay, if we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you're getting tired of making somebody happy or you're getting tired of having to start over again. Like maybe this is a connection that's constantly falling apart and you're starting, you, you know, you guys are constantly uh, making up and you're just kind of tired of it. Okay. Or this could be someone new and you know, it's just, you're, you're overwhelmed with trying to please this person. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the eight of pentacles, the queen of swords and the nine of swords. I feel like I feel like there's a, a want to really work this out, but being scared to trust somebody. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Hanged Man, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Things are going to stall out in this connection. It has the ability to be a beautiful long-term connection, but things are going to stall out because there's an X in the picture. If we're dealing with a Cancer, we've got the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. 
Someone here may be trying to, hold on, let's see here. Five of Pentacles. There's a lot of communication and forward movement, Leo, with you and the Cancer, but I feel like somebody is scared of being left or ghosted, even though there's commitment here. It doesn't make sense, the Strength card. Yes, yeah, someone here is trying to stay strong, but they're very much in their head that, that they're going to get ghosted. I don't know why. If we're dealing with another Leo, we've got the Six of Swords, the Devil card, and the Four of Swords. Someone's leaving a very toxic situation behind and moving towards healing. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands, um, this is somebody that maybe wants to have a night, a one night stand, and you're gonna say no, okay? Um, or this could potentially be somebody that, yeah, I mean, it's either you're gonna say no, or you're gonna say yes and just get blocked. This is a hit it and quit it type of energy. Um, if we're dealing with a Libra. We've got the Magician, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. Uh, Leo, this is a Libra that walked away from you, and now they're wanting to come back and manifest with you and, um, you know, apologize. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got the Three of Swords, we've got the Emperor, and we've got the King of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. One more here. And the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like the tables might be turning on somebody here because somebody may be very controlling or they use emotional abuse to control somebody. And it could be that the tables are turning on this person. Page of Swords, somebody here may be seeing the truth of about this person. Okay, so the tables may potentially be turning on this person. If we're dealing with a Sag, Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Um, I feel like... There is a lot of love here. It does have potential to be long-term, but I feel like there's confusion here because one moment this Sag seems all in and investing and the next minute they're withdrawn and seem like they don't want it. Um, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, Four of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So if you feel like this Capricorn doesn't want you, Leo, or if you feel ignored by them, just hang in there because with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups, this person's coming in for reconciliation. The Moon card, you're not going to see it coming, okay? Now, another thing, Leo, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, if you're feeling ignored by this person, it could also be because this person's going towards a third party and you don't know it. So take that as it resonates. Use your intuition. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. You guys are both very much in love with each other. That's leading to long term. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the King of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Leo, if you're dealing with a Pisces... I feel like you're, there's a flirtatious energy between you and this Pisces, but you guys know you're meant to be together. There's a very strong vibe of love and commitment here. Um, two of Pentacles. Yeah, if you're unsure as to whether or not this person wants you or not, they do. You guys are coming up as a king and a queen. There's love and commitment here, okay? I love you guys so much, and I got the hiccups, and I'll see you soon. Take care, my darlings.